Hello everyone, I'm Tucker Frog. I'm going to show you how to get reshade and filters for DVD. You could use these steps for another game, but I'll be specifically showing DVD. Now, we're going to go to this repo. I'll link it. Go here. Copy this. Open up your uh, command line. Run the command. Boom. Make sure you don't use sudo, by the way. Just use a normal command. We're going to make it executable. Then we're going to run the script that we just made executable. Boom. So now it's going to ask us, uh, hey, where, uh, is, yeah, we want to install, yeah, for those games. Now it's going to ask us, hey, where's the game we want to install? We can go to Steam, which is where I have DVD. Go to the path where we have DVD. I'm just going to go through Steam, go to properties, go to install files. Uh, we do not want this EXE. A lot of, if, a lot of games may have this to where you see one EXE, but it's not actually the EXE you want to. Often the EXE is actually found in binaries. Boom, there's the actual EXE we want. We're going to copy this path. I just clicked on it, by the way. We're going to open our terminal, paste that path in. And we're going to say, yes, that's correct. Yes, we want that. And yes, we want that. Boom, now you see here, reshade this folder is now added. Uh, it also says, hey, you can set an environment variable. You can run the game with environment variable set. Or you can just go to the launch options. We're going to use the launch options in this example. Uh, go here, go to launch options, enter the command we just copied. Boom. Okay, so now when we run, oh, my bad, I have DVD running. My bad. Now when we run DVD next. Okay, boom, there we go. It's for me, it says press delete because I've already configured it. But for you, it probably says press home. If you don't have a home key on your keyboard already, then there's probably some keyboard shortcut that will get you a home key. For me, it was FN plus uh, end, but for you, maybe some other key combination, just figure it out. But you should have an ability to press home somehow. Now, you go with open this, easy. Now, if your home key, if you don't have a home key and you had to do another thing, I would recommend changing your overlay key. I changed mine to delete because I have a delete key. Now I can pop this, now I can pop this using delete instead of home. I'd recommend you do that for now. We're going to let DVD load before we do the next steps. Now we have overlay. Sorry, we have, we have reshade, but we don't have any filters. Ignore this. We don't have any filters. Uh, my bad. I forgot to remove that directory. Let me delete this. Pretend, pretend this isn't here. Okay, there we go. Well, we don't have any filters, as you can see. How do we get filters? Let's, we can go to the discord. I'll link this if you, I'll link this if I can. I don't know if I can link someone else's server necessarily. I'll try to, I'll do my best with that. But go to my uh, Discord, join it. I'll try to link that if I can. Go to FAQ, go to reshades, go to this Dropbox link, download it. That'll probably get downloaded to your downloads folder. Go to the same terminal we have, uh, we have already open. You could open a new one, but we'll just keep the same kind of trend going here. We're going to clear. We are going to set a uh, did I? Okay, yeah. We are going to go to this uh, path again that we just had to copy. I shouldn't have cleared, my bad. <laughs> well, actually, did it remember? No, it, it didn't. Okay, my bad. It's fine. We're going to go here and we're going to copy this path that we have just used to actually install Reshade because we're going to need that just in a second. We are then going to... I'm not going to set this to a... Uh, environment variable just so I don't actually do I don't think we need to no we don't need to okay so we're just gonna CD to downloads just have that copied we're gonna CD to downloads because this is where the zip file should have been downloaded we are going to unzip it and we're going to put it into a folder called filters there we go so if we look at what's inside filters we should see all these filters we're I'm gonna move the the filters directory into the path we just copied. Make sure to enclose it in quotes or it will not work because there's a space in Dead by Daylight. They should move that directory to the directory which already has uh, the other reshade folder. So if we see here, we should see the reshade folders right here and we have filters with our filters inside. Now we open DVD and we pretend we, okay, now we go inside filters. We should have all these filters available to us. Let's click on the first one and select it, and there we go. Now, for some for some settings you probably want to enable, effect. Do you want to on? Do you want the effect on or off? 
On, off, on, off. I made my end. You can make yours anything you want to. Now, to actually go through a list of filters, if you only have one, not necessary. But you have more than one, you probably want to go next. You know, next and previous. You can use up and down. Error keys, doesn't matter. You probably, those probably, those these four, you probably want for sure. So now, at this point, you should successfully added filters to DVD on Linux. And then you should be able to replicate this with any other game. Hope you found this guide for how to get reshade on Linux for DVD helpful or for any game for that matter. Thanks for watching.